Oh, okay. So, your underlying energy is the Empress. So, for a lot of you guys, you guys are manifesting, giving birth to new ideas. Um, this is also comfort, relaxation, family, mothers. So, for a lot of you guys, if you guys are expecting, congratulations. Because I do see a queen, um, a page of wands here and the sun. So, hey, man. So, y'all could be having some children. And for those of you that aren't, this is strictly just coming up with, or just is talking about giving birth, right? Giving birth to certain things. It's a period of passive energy, but you come up with new ideas and you're manifesting at this time, okay? And what you're manifesting, it has a lot to do with independence, comfort being surrounded by your abundance. The Empress is very similar to the Nine of Pentacles, where she's surrounded by just as much as abundance as the Nine of Pentacles, except this is pretty much, this is more awesome because it's a major arcana. But this is talking about, for sure, um, you're manifesting um, and you're, you're building, a, honestly, for some of you guys, it could be that you're building a gilded cage, but for some of you guys, you guys are trying to build up this comfort, this ability to be confident in yourself, financially, practically, to be able to feel comfortable with going out and, and look to the world. For some of you guys, it's not just that you guys are wanting to, to kind of just build your own empire and kind of stay away from people. But most importantly, I feel like you guys are trying to build a foundation for yourselves, a home, a place where you can feel comfortable. So that way, when you do go out or when, when there's an opportunity that presents itself, you can go out and do it and feel comfortable, right? Or at least feel like you've got some sort of foundation. Now, for your current state of being, you have the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups could be indicating that you guys have a lot of options available for you. You guys have a ton of uh, heart's desires that you may have to choose from here. Like, you may have a lot of ideas of what you guys want to do. Hence, this is why the Empress is underneath. Is your underlying energy. I'm going to quickly pull a clarifier for the Seven of Cups here. Okay, because I don't think this is dreams. I do think, I do think there is some offers... And you're trying to figure out what it is that your heart's desire is, okay? Because but nothing's very, nothing's really standing out to you, okay? Page of Pentacles. You're making a decision, or somebody's. You're trying to make a decision about certain offers that can lead you to a commitment of some sort. Someone is offering you commitment, and you're trying to figure out whether or not this is, you know, legitimate or not. And with the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, this is probably honestly advice coming up here for you guys. Really look at the details. Really look at what it is that's being offered to you and really look hard into it because there's something going on. Nothing bad, but you don't want to miss anything, right? You don't want to miss the fine print. So I feel like whatever's going on, especially when it comes to contracts like that, so, uh, contracts and such, business, career things going on, or even in a when it comes to, you know, hearing someone out in regards to a long-term relationship, you want to listen, you want to really, you know, pick it apart. Now, with your future, or with your goal, rather, you guys want the page of wands. So I feel like you guys want a bit of excitement, something that excites you. Maybe nothing huge, but something that kind of gets you kind of going, you know? Something that gets your passions all revved up and ready to go. Um, <clears throat> uh, I do get this feeling, though, um, that you guys may, like, again, may want some children. And it could be that, the, you know, a page of wands, you may want to feel excited about a pregnancy, or you guys want a pregnancy to be you know to kind of experience something new okay um so so that could be it for some of you guys but i feel like ultimately you guys want to go somewhere you guys want to feel very excited and very passionate about something and i feel like you guys want to go in a certain direction um that really enthuse that's really enthusiastic and and it really get gets your attention because honestly page of you know you guys are manifested something in the nine of pentacles there it's like yeah you guys want to have build a foundation so you guys you know feel more comfortable when it comes to branching out but also you're even bored as fuck so of course you guys are going to want to go ahead and you know build something new you know give birth to something new ideas to get something going because there's a lot of boring energy around you right so yeah you always want something to do ultimately but the thing that's keeping you from the page of swords is the fool. So for some of you guys, you may not be feeling very free right now. Or you guys may have an opportunity to do something, but it's going to require you to take a leap of faith. And that it hasn't been taken yet. So, okay. And I feel like the reason why that leap of faith hasn't been taken is because of justice. There's some karmic stuff that needs to be corrected. And there hasn't been a lot of closure for something that's in the past. So... That's, yeah, it does bring up a little bit of hesitation when it comes to the fool, right? Starting so new, you don't have that closure, you don't have that, you know, you don't have that balance necessary to feel like you can go ahead and take that leap of faith forward. Yeah, you're not going to really feel very uh, confident going out there and doing what you want to do, which is being, you know, being the fool, taking a risk, experiencing things new. 
okay and as also you know with the fool right you have to understand that there comes there comes a times with, with the fool he has you know he gets hit with stuff that's unexpected and honestly like you don't really feel you know balance or there's not a lot of balance that are going on here for you guys to feel comfortable with taking a risk like that where you guys could get hit with anything at any time but your advice here is the moon and this is talking about trusting your intuition going with the flow and really relying on your instincts to help you help guide you through the way because i feel like the fool and somewhat is somewhat happening for you guys there is something coming up is a major arcana right is a leap of faith that's kind of not you know it's not necessarily initiated by you it's just a new beginning happening so if this whole you know decision that's that need to be made and stuff like that and you want something exciting i feel like there is something that's come up that has started and you're not necessarily really interested or ready or you don't feel exactly like doing this new beginning because of karmic scale imbalance but it's talking about nope don't be focused so much on what you don't want to have going on or what pretty much don't focus on um uh, don't focus on what's going on that's bad. Try to just, you know, feel around and kind of move forward here, okay? Um, it's a hard one, right? Because when it comes to certain situations, especially when it's an initial, when it's an, uh, a beginning where you didn't want to start, it's telling you to just go with the flow. It's okay. Go for it. Go for it. Go in the dark. It's hard to do, especially when it comes to, you know, when it comes to being a fixed sign, it's not very easy to just adjust to something new, to adjust and just keep moving forward. Now, you Aquarius, you make it really make it look easy, but you guys are still fixed. You don't really like doing that anyway. So, okay, you guys are maybe the most open-minded or fixed signs out there. It's still very hard for you to change. It's still very hard for you to go through certain situations that honestly test your stability. Honestly, so. Trusting yourself, trusting your intuition right now. This is, it could, now there could be dreams because of this here, but there also could be just some sort of psychic stuff going on. So be very mindful of psychic stuff. I don't think psychic attacks, but just be very aware of certain, um, certain stuff that's going on in your, um, energy, um, um and along the sides of, um, intuition. Now with how you're feeling, you guys have the, you know, the two pentacles and the, um, Two of Pentacles. What am I trying to say? There's nothing else here. But the Two of Pentacles is indicating to me that there is something that you guys are focusing on that may not be the exact source, okay? So for a lot of you guys, I feel like with the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles could indicate that there is a lot of focusing on some practical stuff, but I feel like the, a lot of the attention should be focused on the emotions, especially considering that the cup present, well, the energy presently is the seven of cups the moon is here as your advice as well so <clears throat> i do get this feeling here that with this you know with this you know cup energy water energy going on here i think the focus may be focusing a lot on the practical you guys may be using work as a sort of distraction building something new could be some sort of a distraction but ultimately you may not you may be juggling situations or juggling um you know an offer making trying to make it a practical decision about an offer so you don't really you don't really know what is to, what is a value but it has a lot to do with you probably not looking at what's going on emotionally what do you want what is your heart telling trying to tell you and i feel like with the two of pentacles i mean it just be that you guys are focusing on practical stuff but it's also that you're juggling certain things so you're trying to figure out or make a decision and your emotions are, are very much important in this part on this part of this journey but it's is only looking at the practical side so it's very important to look at the details but also have your emotions involved in making the decisions especially when you're looking at the practical stuff it's going to be very hard to go through the moon energy because you're not looking at how you feel you're not trusting your intuition you're not even looking at your intuition and that's very difficult for you to do you can do it but you know it's it's a tr you know trial and error with that one now with your hopes and fears you guys have the sun so you guys want clarity you guys want to see things very you want to see things straightforward, okay? You want to also be um, see the path towards happiness, right? Because that's what is uh, that's what it's saying. Seeing the potential of happiness here, or being in a place of this is potential happiness because you can see all things, you can see everything. You want clarity in your situation, but the moon is saying, you know, in your advice, it's like there is not a lot of clarity going on. You're gonna just have to go with the flow and experience this. And you're like, I don't know about that, okay? I don't know, and that's fair enough, right? So. 
I feel like the way to get clarity has a lot to do with looking at your emotions because your emotions are just as much as part of seeing things clearly as looking at things practically. I know it makes no sense, right? You're trusting your emotion. That emotions are abstract. Well, if you know what you want, it's going to be a lot easier to figure out what's going on. If you know how you feel, you're, you're going to, it's going to be, make a lot more sense. Especially if you feel about the certain decisions or the certain options that are presented to you. It's going to make a, I feel like the clarity could come, but it has a, but I feel like to have clarity, you have to kind of, you know, it's not just juggling certain things or making this, you know, practical decisions. It's also looking at your emotions. And that's the hard part, right? Because you're going through a very weird time where things are starting up and you're not necessarily ready for it and you're having to kind of just go without any kind of knowledge of what's going on. So something could be happening, something new could happen. That's what it's looking like, something new just happened. And you don't even know. It's just like, okay, walking in the dark. Oh, that's frustrating. Now, for you guys in your outcome, you guys have the two of wands. So this is about making a decision take you know, and taking action on a certain decision. Okay, <clears throat> and in regards to the two of wands, I do feel like for a lot of you guys, this is talking about, you know, picking a path and then going ahead and sticking with it. Pretty much what the moon is pretty much saying. You may not have an idea of where it leads, but you do know that you have, you know, that you can, that you're going to need to put work and effort towards it, right? Just kind of going with your gut feeling, you know, and just kind of going with it. So I feel like ultimately picking a path and going with it and putting action forth that's what's really going to be um that's pretty much your, your outcome let me look at why <clears throat> why does everything lead to the two of wands making a decision about which one is more exciting i feel like the options are very exciting for you but they can seem a bit oh wow the devil comes up you know, Capricorn got devil as their actual outcome, so that's very interesting. So, making a decision about what you want to do in a in a situation where you may not feel like there's a lot of options, where you feel very bound and very trapped. Okay, be careful about going back to old habits or ways of behaving, because it may hinder a lot of certain a lot of manifestation that you're doing here. But I feel like making a decision about what it is that you want, you know, despite what may not be in your control or may what you feel is not in your control. Okay, so for your romance angels, Aquarius, you guys have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, that has probably does indicate here with justice, um, closure, right? Not wanting to take a leap of faith, not really wanting to start something new or haven't started something new or something starting new and you're kind of resistant of it because there's something that wasn't really closed off yet. There was something that was properly handled. So I feel like, you know, oh, geez. So forgiveness and forgiveness in itself, trusting your emotions and going with the flow. That's feel like that's what the messages are trying to say this time around. Okay. What about for your wisdom of the Oracle? Let's see what they say about it. So we could tie this whole ring up and hopefully make more sense of it. Look at that new life comes out. The fool. So yeah, there is something new that's starting, possibly be in the, against kind of the thing that you kind of want to do. It's not something you initiated, Aquarius. So this is some new beginnings here, and it and the new beginning is coming because of some karmic correction. Either there isn't a karmic correction, or there's some, there's not a lot of closure, so there's a little bit of resistance. Okay, what is the? How does Aquarius feel about this? Fool, what it what is the fool really a blockage? What are you trying to say with the fool here in the blockage position? Strength. Yep, it's not really something you guys want to do. Or perhaps this is something that you guys are excited about, right? Another exciting energy. That's the the strength card can be just as much strength as it, it I mean, as it, just as much excitement as it is. Um, you know, struggling and pushing through a difficult situation. But there's a lot of strength here, right? As a re it's not necessarily resistance, but you're going with it, you're going on along with it when you kind of don't really, you drag it on, I feel. I feel like for some of you guys, this is something that you don't really want to start, but it's happened anyway. 
So that's why you have a lot of decisions to make because you know, you're looking, you take your time, you're looking at it, and every little detail, and you have, and it's good to do that because whatever's new is happening, it's it's coming in fast, or <clears throat> you know, it's just that this justice card is talking about some sort of karmic balance that needs to be reestablished here, and the moon is telling you just go with the, go with your heart, with really go with your heart, go with what you feel is correct, because this new beginning is really leaning on your intuition more than your intellect, more than your your ability to decipher or see things clearly. So I feel like, with, yes, looking at the details with the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups rather, it's good combo because you have to do that with Seven of Cups anyway. Look at the details to make sure that the offers are being presented to you do make sense and do resonate with you. But you really want to be sure that you're also looking at the Seven of Cups with your heart open, right? To figure out what it is that you want. Because I don't know if you do know. <clears throat> 